told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away How's it going, Monster Truck fans? Hi, everybody. I am AALS3179. You guys can call me Angel Lopez for short. But you know what? Welcome to the Viva La Raza Monster Truck Show live here at Paris, California. We're getting right here for the Southern California State Fair. And I know you guys are excited. Not five, but 12 amazing monster trucks we have. So most of them are from the west side. Some of them are from all the way up north. But there's some are from the east side and there's some from the south or the north side of the U.S. 
I am so excited to privilege to have this show coming up right there. I know everyone's getting in right now to have a great time right now. We know you guys had a great time in the pit party. We know you guys get get a chance to meet all your favorite drivers and your favorite monster trucks. Because hang it tight, we're going to get ready to get started as soon as possible. Don't go anywhere. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago a year ago Welcome to Paris, California, here at the Southern California State Fair. Welcome, everyone, to the Viva La Rosa Monster Truck Show. Like I said before, I'm your host, Angel, here. We're going to see the best of the best of 12 monster trucks. We'll go at it. Tonight, we will have three competitions. Well, maybe slightly three and a half because I don't know if you count as practice competition. So the first day, or qualifying, they call it. So the first competition, after that, we are going to go to the official Monster Truck Best Trick Competition where each truck is going to hit two obstacles on the last two ramps on the side. Then after that, we are going to go qualifying. And after qualifying, we're going to go to the official racing. And then we take our intermission break. And after the intermission break, it will be the official Monster Truck Freestyle Competition. Now, during racing, we already know that the trucks can compete each other whenever they want to. But during Best Trick and Freestyle, we have a sign to all five judges. Now, all five judges have the score. They only, each of them gets one through six. They Whoever gets the highest and the lowest. So we drop out the highest, drop out the lowest, and that will be the official Monster Truck score. Whoever's in the tie league, we'll bring it back the scores back up and see who has the highest score. All right, Monster Truck fans, we're going to get ready because I know we're all excited. We're here because this is where the part where East Side meets West. Let's get ready for the Viva La Rosa Monster Truck Show. Paris, California, here comes your Monster Truck Show. All right, Monster Truck fans, this is the starting lineup. So here's the starting lineup for tonight. Introducing first, all the way from Columbus, Michigan, y'all know him as a two-time World Finals champion. Please welcome, all the way from Ohio, Jim Kohler, Avenger. And representing 
from the monster truck that started it all. Grew up all the way in South Dakota, but now here in Missouri, Derek Chanel, Bigfoot. Your next competitor, one of my favorite independent trucks from the prehistoric and is also half robot. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Utah, Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack. And the truck all the way from Texas native. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dylan Finley in King Crunch. And representing a truck that used to be, he used to be from here in California, but now he's now grew, growing up in Rupert, Idaho. Please welcome Eric Swatson, Obsessed. And speaking of another Ohio truck, all the way from Ohio, please welcome Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And also another truck all the way from Ohio as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with the arms of that pickup truck is Rick Steffens in Samson. And representing another lineup, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the wife of Darren Chanel. Please welcome Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. And another truck that's all the way from here in our hometown state, but up north. Ladies and gentlemen, the plane for keeps driver is Tony Kando, driving Survivor. And also the daughter of the driver of this truck. And now she's back, we'll bring you back with this truck. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Rosalie Raymer, the driver of Wildflower. She'll be in Time Flies. And our next competitor, another one from North Cal. Please welcome everyone, our, our favorite, Donald Epiditio in Titan. And our final competitor, all the way from the state of Utah, please welcome with the same team with Paul Jensen with Team Throttle, Michael Christensen, Vendetta. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for your lineup for the Viva La Raza Monster Truck Show. All right, Viva La Raza Monster Truck Show. We kindly ask every single one of you guys to please stand up because this is our singing of tonight's the National Anthem. As we thank all of our militaries and everyone for this beautiful country. But like I said before, please everybody stand up, remove your caps for our singing of tonight's of the National Anthem. All right, Southern California, we know we are all excited. I'm excited too. But remember, the louder you guys go, the bigger they go. So we kindly ask everybody to count. And to count of 10, these monster trucks are going to spark up their engines. And we're going to get ready to start our first competition. All right, monster truck fans, here we go. And to count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drivers, start your engines.
All right, Viva Rasa Monster Truck Show here in Paris, California at Southern California State Fair. We want to say a great big shout out to the video game Rigs of Rods, Bandy Camera, including my brothers, everybody, and everybody around here for who are involvement, including myself, for making it. If you guys want to see more videos like that, don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys want to see more. First of all, thank you for guys for coming to the live stream. For those of you guys that are watching it pre recorded, it's already been after the live stream. It's fine. You guys, that's fine, man. You guys are welcome to watch it. All right, Monster Truck fans, it is time to get ready for the official Monster Truck Best Trick Competition. Now remember, we only get five judges. Whoever's whoever gets the highest and lowest, we drop out the highest number and the lowest, and we'll consider a count. Whoever's the tied up, we'll bring those numbers back up to figure out who's the winner. All right, Monster Truck fans, it is time for the best trick competition. Remember, the bigger you guys go, the louder they're gonna get, and the bit and the louder you guys go, the bigger they're gonna get. It doesn't matter. Let's get ready to get started. Let's get in. Come on, fans. Who's ready for the Viva Los Monster Truck Show? All right, I hear enough of screams. Let's get it on right now. All right, introducing first all the way from Texas, please welcome Dylan Finley and King Crunch. As King Crunch is getting ready to get started right now, he's going to wave here to fans here at SoCal. Come on, everybody, wave your flags out for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. As he's getting ready to reverse it right now for Dylan Finley, King Crunch, he's going to hit the first obstacles right behind the cart. And beautiful, not bad, uh, even though that was the uh, first hit of the night. He has one more hit to go, but he has to go reverse it back to the last two hit cars. Now this is Dylan Finley, I believe this is his first time coming to SoCal. I'm not so sure, correct me if I'm wrong, just in case. But still, it's great to see the old, good old King Crunch days. I remember growing up watching it back in uh, back in the original days, when it was owned by Dave Smith, yeah, by Dan Smith. And oh, sorry, I got a little distracted right there. He went on top of the car, not yet. But it looks like he's going to hit it again. But this time, back to the other cars. Come on, viewers, awesome Monster Truck fans, make some noise for Dylan Finley and King Crunch as he's going to reverse it right there. All right, there he goes. He's just reversing it right there. He just wants to keep it straight. And it looks like he's going to make a turn right there. And he's going to go jump right there. Whoa! Oh, oh he's going to fall down. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. We need a paramedics right there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. All right, viewer, Russell Monster Truck Show. What a great way to start and really weird way to start for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. All right, fans, it's time to make, I mean, all right, judges, it's time to make the scores. And it looks like he's out of the truck right now. The bulldozers are in. And it looks like the truck is back on all four wheels. And he's okay. We don't need no paramedics. That's good news, everyone. Really good news for Dylan Finley. All right, now, now the judges are making a score. So, judges, show the score. So, here are the score. Two, three. Five, three, and another two. Okay, we're going to drop out the five. We're going to drop out the two. And it's a total of eight for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. Fans, let's give it up. Make some noise for Texas native Dylan Finley, King Crunch. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, all the way from Utah, please welcome to one of my favorite independent trucks. It is Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack. All right, make some noise, guys. And there he is, Paul Jensen and Jurassic Attack. Oh, I think it doesn't count. Yeah, the official says that it doesn't count right now because Paul Jensen, um, you know, had a little mistake. But still, there he is, everybody. One of my favorite independent trucks based on a prehistoric robotic, prehistoric animal or is a triceratops, or should I say a robo-triceratops. And oh, not bad on the first hit. Oh, and he's on all two wheels. Oh, is he back? Oh, yeah, he's back on four. Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack. Oh, he's going to flip it over. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, he saved it. All right, he saved the fat. He's still okay. He's still okay, guys. He's still a-okay. Oh, my goodness, everybody. That is some impressive move by Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack with two wheels on the manure all the way from Utah, who is part of Team Throttle. His brother, Michael Christensen, will be joining up in just a few more moments for Vendetta. And he's going to hit for the second hit. And is he going to go for Wheelie? Oh, almost. Not bad, but still, it was a great one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. Okay, and now we're looking to scores right now. The judges are making a decision right now as he's going backstage for Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. That was an awesome move right there. All right, and it looks like we have the scores for Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. We're going to look at the scores right now. All right, fans, so here's the score. It's going to be 6, a 2, a 3, a 5, and another 3. All right, we're going to drop out the six. 
we are going to drop out the 2. The total is going to be 11 because 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 5. It's 11. So 11 is the score for Paul Jensen Jurassic Attack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for Paul Jensen Jurassic Attack. All right, Monster Truck fans, your next competition all the way from Rufert, Idaho, who used to be growing up all the way down in Menifee, California, which not anymore. He's now an Idaho native. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Swanson obsessed. And here he comes. He is the son of former Obsession driver Rick Swanson. And now his father supporting him. And there he is, everybody. Eric Swanson back in his hometown state here in California. Let's see, can he do it for one last time for here in California? All right, he's going to make a turn right now for Eric Swanson in Obsessed right now. He's trying to reverse it. Okay, not bad. And uh, let's see what he's going to do. So he's trying to make it a perfect move right there. So there he is coming up. And he's going to head to the cars right there. There he is. He's going to go head straight to the cars, and the first hit of the night, not bad by Eric Swanson. All right, there he is, there he is, everybody, Eric Swanson. Yes, one more hit. Oh, and he hit the wall. Can he reverse it? Yeah, there he goes. He's reversing it. So remember, everybody, please be behind all the gates. Please, for your safety, for all the fans out there for safety reasons, please stay behind the gates as well. And also, if you guys got hearing problems, don't forget, ear protection is available on the merchandise booth stands right now if you guys need it right now. So Eric Swanson is going to go jump right there. Whoa, not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Swanson, obsessed. And he's going to wave here down in Paris, California for all you fans out there here at the Southern California State. All right, fans, now we're going to go get ready to look at the scores right now. The judges are going to make the decision right now. Can this be enough to stop Paul Jensen's uh, drastic attack? We don't know yet, but still, we're going to find out. Oh, it looks like we've got some triples of five. So here's the judges. So we're going to have a five, a five, a three, a two and a five. Now we're going to drop out the five. We drop out the two. So it's a total of a 13 for Eric Swanson in Obsess. And right now, Eric Swanson Obsess has taken the lead, has destroyed Jurassic Attack score. All right, let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Come your next, uh, next truck all the way from Ohio's native. Please welcome Rick Steffens in Samson. He is also the son-in-law of the owner and creator, Dan Patrick, and he's driving Samson. For all you fans out there here in California, this is Samson's first time being in California since a long time. Don't remember when or how, but it was a long time ago Samson has been here. And there he is showing off for all you guys out there. Wave those checker flags right now for Rick Steffens and Samson. And he's glad to be here at the SoCal area. All right, and looks like he hit the first hit. Pretty not bad by Rick Steffens. He has one more hit to go for the best trick competition. And you see what's going to happen right there. He's going to make the final turn for Dare. Rick Steffens is trying to make sure he's trying to aim it perfectly. And there he goes. All right, he has one more hit. Let's give it up. Come on, everyone. Make some noise for Samson. As Samson jump. not bad. But we got to find out what's the scores for tonight for Samson. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Rick Steffens and Samson. As the judges are making the score right now, we don't know if it's going to be enough. But still, we're going to see what's going to happen right there for Rick Steffens and Samson. All right, then. The scores are in. Judges, show us your score. So it's going to be... A two, a four, a three, a four, another four, and a three. So we are going to drop out the four. We are going to drop out the two. So that's a total of a ten because three plus three is six plus four is a ten. So ladies and gentlemen, right now, Eric Swanson's taking the lead with a score of a 13. Give it a one more time for Rick Steffens and Samson. All right, Vero Rosso Monster Truck Show. Please welcome the Wildflowers Driver Zone, Rosalie Raymer. But this time she's driving her father's truck in Time Flies. And there she is, everybody. Time Flies is back. Rosalie Raymer is behind the wheel and she's waving it. Wave your checker flags. Come on, Paris, California. Wave your checker flags. All right, Rosalie Raymer. This is her first time competing since, wow, almost since 2020. She hasn't competed ever since. But let's see what she's going to do. And the first hit, not bad of the night to drive her father's truck. Oh, she banged the wall. Is she okay? Yeah, 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 she's okay. She's okay. She's good. She's good. All right, then. Now, Rosalie Raymer, she is trying to do her best driving behind the wheel of her dad's truck here in the monster truck called Time Flies. And let's see what she's got to do. She's doing it for all the fans out there here. And she's grown up all the way up north in Northern California. Let's see what's going to happen right there. And she threw the second hit. Oh, Rosalie Raymer. Oh, no. And she flipped it over. She saved it! She saved it! What a save! And she's out of the truck waving for all the fans out there. Ladies and gentlemen, Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies. 
And now I believe we might have a good score for Rosalie Raymer in time flights right now as the judges are making the decision. This is going to be a really, really tough one, but we don't know yet. We're going to let the judges decide. All right, judges, show me the score. So the score we're going to have is a 5, a 5, a 6, a 4, and another 6. Now we drop off the 6, we drop off the 4, and the total is a 16. For Rosalie Raymer in time flies, knocking off Eric Swanson Obsess. Another second generation driver defeats another second generation driver right now. Time Flies has taken the lead, but let's see, can she still hold the score? Because we have some tough guys that can knock her out, but Rosalie's crossing her fingers, and now she's heading to backstage. Let's come up and bring up another monster truck. Come on, Paris, California. All right, fans, coming up next is another Ohio native. Please welcome Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And look at that beautiful color, everybody. Kyle Kunkel is showing it for all you fans out there. Wave your checker flags for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. Man, that is some beautiful colors right now. It's great to see Rap Attack here in the Southern California area right now. And he's gonna show it off in front of all you fans out there here. And fun fact is we have two trucks that ended attack. We have Jurassic Attack, and now we have Rap Attack. And what is Kyle gonna do? Is he gonna head to the cars? Oh, it looks like he's gonna head to the cars right now. And, um, oh, he missed the cars right now. Yeah, but it's all right. He's gonna reverse the truck right now for Kyle Kunkel. And there he is, heading out there. And um, here he comes. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he, I don't think he's gonna go to the cars. He's gonna head to the big ramp. Oh boy, and it looks like he has a big permission because he wants to go big here in Southern California. Come on, everybody, wave your checker flags and make some noise for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And it looks like he's gonna hit the first jump right there. Is he gonna do a wheelie? Oh, not yet. And oh, he banged the wall, and it looks like, oh, oh, no, 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 he's stuck. He is really stuck, so we're gonna have to unstuck him right now. And it looks like the officials have to shut him down. And the RII, it looks like they're gonna have to shut him down. Yup, they shut him down already. And now the, ro the remote ignition interrupter has shut the truck down. And that is enough, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kyle Kunkel and Jurassic Attack. But well, though, he's eligible to hit a score right now. But I believe it's going to be a lower score. It's going to be really bad, but not the way Kyle wanted to do. All right, then. The judges have made the score. It's going to be a 1, a 2, a 1, a 1, and another 2. So we're going to drop out the 1. We're going to drop out the 2. The total is going to be a 4 for Rap Attack. Really disappointed. Well, really disappointed for an Ohio native here in Southern California. But... But still, he tried his best, but we still got two more competitions. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris, California, give it up one more time for Kyle Kunkel, Rap Attack. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming next from the state of Utah, please welcome another member from Team Throttle. Please welcome Michael Christensen, Vendetta. As he's on his way right now, he's going to show it off for all you fans out there. Wave your check or flags for Michael Christensen and Vendetta. And looks like his brother Paul has already made his um, competition already, even though he was taking the lead so far, not yet. Right now, Time Flies is taking the lead right now with a score of a 16. Can this be Michael Christensen's night if he can take out Rosalie Raymer off the hot seat? And it looks like he's getting ready to prepare for Michael Christensen and Vendetta. Let's see, can this be enough uh, to stop Rosalie Raymer? And the first hit has hit it, not bad. Okay, right now he has one more hit to go for Michael Christensen and Vendetta. Now, you know, I met Vendetta. I met Michael Christensen. I meant to say was back in Bakersfield. He did a dominate ever since with this truck. And even though uh, he's really pure dominance, he's still become maybe one day a future world champion one day. We'll find out because uh, we believe in this guy. All right, Michael Christensen, second hit. And uh, pretty not bad. But even though the judges have to be the ones making the decision, not bad by Michael Christensen. All right, Paris, California, make some noise for Michael Christensen, Vendetta. All right, now we're going to look at the scores right now. Right now, the judges are deciding right now for Michael Christensen and Vendetta. Pretty awesome move, but we got to get it, give it to this guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the scores are in. All right, judges, what's the score? So the score is going to be a four, a three, another four, a five, and another three. So we're going to drop out the five. We're going to drop out the three. So those total of eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. For Michael Christensen, Vendetta, although he's tied up with Paul Jensen, his brother, another 11 score. Not enough, but still, it is what it is. Let's give it up one more time for Michael Christensen in Vendetta. All right, Paris, California, coming in next is Tony in Survivor. 
Although he's normally driving in the other monster truck, which y'all know, some of y'all know him, he drives the monster truck called Playing for Keeps. Right now he's driving Survivor right now, even though Survivor's part of the show. Although he's not driving Playing for Keeps right now because, you know, he's just reporting to this show. And fun fact is, I had a friend of mine who used to drive it. It's my good friend, Rudy, although he's in another team right now. So let's give it up. Come on, everybody. Let's make some noise for Tony. So wave your flags off for Tony, everybody, as he's making a turn right now here in Survivor. And he's going to get the first hit of the night. Let's go. Oh, and uh, pretty not bad, but not the way we want. Oh, and he hit the wall. Okay, he's going to hit the concrete. No. All right, he's going to reverse the truck. All right, he's, he's good. He's good. All right, guys, there he is, Tony and Survivor. I was introduced to the truck a while back, and um, like um, I used to see it on YouTube. Finally, get to see the truck in person back in Fresno, all the way back in um, 2021. And there's Tony, and there he is, doing it for all the Hispanics out there. And he's also Spanish native, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, ponga tu manos arriba para Tony and Survivor. All right, Viva Rasa Monster Truck Show fans. So let's give it up one more time for Tony Survivor as we're going to make the scores right now for Tony. Let's see, but we don't know if it's enough to stop time flies. So here's the score. The score for Tony is going to be a 3, a 2, a 5, a 5, and a 3. So we're going to drop out the 5. We are going to go drop out the 2. And the total is going to be an 11 for Tony and Survivor. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Tony and Survivor. Doing it for toda la Latina, toda la gente habla español. Para Tony. Let's give it a one more time for Tony and Survivor. All right, Monster Truck fans. Coming up next is Mr. Excitement himself. The two-time world champion freestyle Jim Kohler Avenger. He is the very first. the Not, not the very first, but the very first monster truck driver I met when I was a little kid and I'm glad he still competes wave your checker flags ladies and gentlemen for Jim Kohler in Avenger and also there he is everybody Mr. Excitement right now perform for all you fans out there here it is everybody Jim Kohler in Avenger and it looks like he hit the first hit whoa not bad for Mr. Excitement Jim Kohler he is all the way from Columbus Ohio and he's doing here in Southern California he has been to Southern California before but he has never been to an independent show before. This is his first time. He is the king of a lot of things right there. And that was an awesome run by Mr. Excitement himself, Jim Kohler in Avenger. And looks like he has one more hit to go. Can this be enough to stop Rosalie Raymer and Time Flies? We don't know yet, but this is going to be Avengers night. We will see because we have a great stack of lineup. And there he is. He's going to line for it. There he is. And oh boy, there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Excitement. Jim Kohler Avenger, and it looks like um, he's getting ready to back up the truck, and we're going to go find out the score right now for Jim Kohler Avenger. Can this be enough to stop Rosalie Raymer? We don't know yet, because this could be a good one. We don't know, because it looks like we might have a good score. So here's a score. A 5, a 6, a 5, another 6, and another 5. So we're going to drop out the 6, and we drop out the 5. The total is going to be a 16. For Avenger, ladies and gentlemen, and it sure it looks like it's a tie between Time Flies and Avenger. If someone breaks out the tie, and it looks like one of them has to go for a win. But if they both take the tie, we have to bring the score back up to find out who's the winner. But we still got more trucks to go, ladies and gentlemen. We still got the last three trucks to go. Come on, fans. Make some noise for our last three trucks. All right, Monster Truck fans. Coming up next, it is Darren Chanel's wife, Rebecca Chanel, in Snake Fight. I know that she usually drives, you all know her, that she drives the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live Monster Truck, known as the Bigfoot. But this time, she's going to be in Snake Fight, another Bigfoot replica. All right, it looks like she's going to reverse it. She is also uh, Darren Chanel's uh, partner in crime. They both grew up in South Dakota together. They've known each other since they were young. And now they grew up all the way in St. Louis, Missouri area. And perfect run by Snake Fight, not bad. And this is Snake Bite's first time being here in California, I believe, for the first time since I don't know when, or it has never been in California, correct me if I'm wrong. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is her first run, and we have not one but two females. This is the second female of the night. Although Rosie Raymer and Jim Kohler are in the tie, but can she break the tiebreaker? But we don't know yet. There she is hitting the next ramp right there for Rebecca. Rebecca, oh! And that's a perfect run by Rebecca. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Rebecca Chanel in Snake Bite. 
And now we're going to look at the scores right now for Snakebite. It's going to be a really tough decision for the judges right now. So, and it looks like the judges have made the decision right now. We're going to find out. So, here it is. It's going to, for Rebecca, it's going to be a 6, another 6, a 5, a 5, and another 6. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a tough one because we're going to find out. So, we're going to drop out the 5, drop out the 6. Total is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, and it looks like Rebecca has broken the tiebreaker. Ladies and gentlemen, your new leader, Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is Rebecca's husband, Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. Here comes the Monster Truck that started it all, Darren Chanel, and he's going to show it for all you fans out there. Here in Paris, California. Derek Chanel has been to California before. Hey, Derek, just to let you know, I'm not giving you bad luck, man. If you're causing, if I'm the one that's causing you bad luck, don't blame this on me. If anyone's seen my other videos, you guys will get the joke because I'm not the guy that gave him bad luck here in California. <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. The GOAT himself, Derek Chanel in Bigfoot. And now his wife already performs, taking the lead right now. She's in the hot seat. Not bad for Derek Chanel. That's the first hit of the night. Wave your check flag. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh my goodness, you know what? I shouldn't be careful for what I just said. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Chanel in Bigfoot, and it looks like he's going to be very angry at me. Oh, it's all good, guys. <laughs> but it's all good. We cool, man. He's a good guy. All right, guys, so we're going to make the scores right now. So, And it looks like the judges have made the score. So it's going to be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. Oh my goodness, that is so hilarious. Okay, so we drop out the 5. We drop out the 1. So it's going to be a 5, and it's a 9 for Derek Chanel Bigfoot. Unfortunately, Bigfoot tried his best, but not the way what he wanted to do. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for Bigfoot's Derek Chanel. And hey, Derek, don't blame this on me, man. I'm not giving you bad luck, all right? But you're the GOAT, man. We love you, Derek. You're a great man. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is Donald Epidentio and Titan. And it looks like this will be the very last truck competition until we go head on to racing competition. So I haven't seen Donald Benvenzio in a while right now. It's my first time seeing him in a while. I haven't seen him in, since Vegas, but you know what? He is the GOAT, everyone. Let's not disappoint him. Wave your check for Flax, Monster Truck fans, for Donald Benvenzio and Titan. And it looks like Titan is breaking a lineup right there. And oh, oh boy, that is an awesome move. Oh no, he banged the wall, is he? Oh no, no, he's unstuck. All right, guys, he's good. He's good, everybody. And he's speaking of the championship monster truck show. He's bringing back the great. Oh, is he okay? Oh yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. All right, wave your check with flags, monster truck fans for Donald Epidentio and Titan. And it looks like he hits one hit. He has one more hit to go for Donald Epidentio. And it looks like he made the turn right there. And there he goes. He's gonna straight forward to the uh, cars. Up over the. He's gonna hit one more to the cars. Not bad for Donald Epidentio. Is he gonna do it? Oh, okay. He's a good. Ladies and gentlemen, Monster Truck fans, give it up one more time for Donald Benditio and tight end. And it sure looks like Snake Bites taking the lead, but we're going to find out what's the score. All right, judges, we need your scores right now. And it looks like they're going to make a score right now. All right, it's going to be a 5, a 6, a 3, and a 4, and another 5. All right, Monster Truck fans, so we're going to drop out the 4. We're going to drop out the 6. And as a total, it's going to be a 13. Ladies and gentlemen, your two-wheel skills or best trick winner goes to Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. All right, everybody. There she is, Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. She has won the best trick competition or the two-wheel skills competition, whatever you guys can call it. But she really got her win right there. Let's see. Can The question is, can she go for racing and freestyle? Although I meant to say it was not qualifying earlier. I meant to say practice race, but practice races don't count. But still, she did it for all the fans out there. This is Snake Bites. First time being here in California, maybe since a long time, or possibly its first time. But we don't know. But who cares, though? Ladies and gentlemen, Monster Truck fans, put your hands together one more time for Rebecca Chanel and Snake Bite. All right, Monster Truck fans, we're getting ready to get start racing in just a moment. But before we do that, we want to give a shout out to YouTube itself, the official Broadcast Yourself website. And also a shout out to Bandy Camera. And including Rigs of Rod, the video game, Cloud Covert, the official uh, website you can convert your um, from an old videos to the newer ones, and including many more, including the people who has made this track 
and made the actual monster trucks. And a shout out to my brother Daniel and the rest of everybody else, including I want to give a great big shout out to my good friend Jesus Esparza from the Jesus Esparza Show. Jesus, if you're watching this, buddy, this one's for you, buddy, man. I want to say thank you, man, and thank you for making me part of your podcast. And including thank you to my brother Daniel, to Daniel, and the rest of the other people and all you fans out there for showing up, for watching it. I know it was a great big shout out to all you guys. We want to say from the bottom to my heart is thank you guys for coming and thank you to all these websites and a shout out to them. All right, Monster Truck fans, it is time for the official Viva La Raza Monster Truck Show Racing Competition. Now, before we get to the actual racing, it is time for the official Monster Truck Priest practice race. And after the practice race, we'll go on to the racing competition. All right, Paris, California, let's get it on for another Monster Truck Show action. It's time for the practice race and then racing competition. And it starts right now. All right, introducing first, all the way from Texas, it is Dylan Finley and King Crunch, and his opponent from the state of Utah, Paul Jensen and Jurassic Attack. This is gonna be their first time facing each other. Three, two, one, here we go. King Crunch is still takes the lead right now. Paul Jensen's having a little trouble right there. And there goes Dylan Finley. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner is Dylan Finley and King Crunch. Jurassic Attack is having trouble. Oh boy, he saved it, and he saved it on all four wheels. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for our first practice race competition. Introducing next, it is Rosie Raymer in Time Flies and her opponent, as well as they're both from North Cal. Please welcome Donald Benditio Titan. They're both from the north side of California. As they're gonna get ready, three, two, one. Here we go. Titan has started. Not bad for Titan. Time Flies is trying to catch up and into the jump. What a hell Mary pass! Your winner is Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies, and Titan almost flipped it over. And that is a great run. Give it up one more time for Time Flies. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, all the way from Ohio, is Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And his opponent is a Monster Truck that started it all, Darren Chanel and Bigfoot. As these guys are going to get ready to get stage, 3, 2, 1, here we go. Rap Attack with the, ooh, with the early jump right there. And it looks like Rap Attack is trying to get there. And Hail Mary pass, oh my goodness. And it looks like your winner is Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. All right, coming in next from the state of Idaho, please welcome Eric Swanson in Obsess and his opponent, another Ohio native, Jim Kohler in Avenger. These both guys are going to get ready to get started right there, and this is going to be a tough race. And the both start right there. Eric Swanson, not bad pass. Jim Kohler's trying to hang up right there. And into the final jump, your winner is, oh, Jim Kohler in Avenger is your winner. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming next from Team Throttle, please welcome Michael Christensen and Vendetta and his opponent, the Play for Keeps driver, Tony in Survivor. As these guys are going to get ready to get stage right now, this is possibly their first time facing each other. Michael Christensen with a good pick. Survivor's trying to hang in there right there. Oh, pretty dead even for both guys right there in the final jump. Michael Christensen is your winner. Your winner is Vendetta. All right, Monster Truck fans. Your last practice competition is Rick Steffens and Samson and his opponent, the person that has won the two wheel skills or best trick winner, Snake Bite, known as Rebecca Chanel. They're both staged and off we go. And it looks like Sam has an early start right now. Perfect way, but we're gonna go to the final turn. Your winner is Rick Steffens and Samson. What a race, and this will be your last practice race of the night. All right, Monster Truck fans, it looks like the bracket is set. In the first round, we will have Survivor will be taking on Avenger. The winner will be taking on King Crunch. Then we will have Obsessed will be taking on Snake Fight. The winner will be taking on Time Flies. Then Titan will be taking on Jurassic Attack. The winner will be taking on Samson. And Rap Attack will be taking on Bigfoot. The winner will be taking on Vendetta. All right, Viva Rasa Monster Truck fans, let's get it on for the racing competition. And it starts right now. All right, Monster Truck fans, introducing first all the way from Ohio, Jim Collard Avenger. And his opponent from North Cal, please welcome Tony in Survivor. These guys are going to get ready to get Sage right there. This is going to be a tough race. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Survivor with the early lead right there. Right now, Avenger looks like Avenger is trying to catch up right there. And the final turn, your winner is Jim Kohler Avenger knocking off Tony in Survivor. And Jim Kohler is going to the next round. And Dizzy first, your best trick winner, Rebecca Chanel in Snake Bite. And her opponent is Eric Swanson in Obsessed. There's a battle between the state of Missouri 
versus the state of Idaho. Here we go, everybody, here in California. And it looks like Eric Swanson has taken the lead. Rebecca's trying to catch up. And to the final turn, your winner is Eric Swanson Obsessed. Moving on to the next round, knocking off Snakebite. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming in next, it is Donald Bittentio in Titan. And his opponent is Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. As these two guys are going to get ready to stage, we're down with the last two for round one. Here we go. And it looks like Titan with the early start right there. And he's trying to take the lead right there. And the final jump. And it looks like your winner is Donald Bedittio in Titan, knocking off Paul Jensen and Jurassic Attack. Give it a one more time for Titan. All right. Coming next in the final round of round one, please welcome Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And his opponent is the monster truck that started it all, Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. As these two guys are going to get ready to get staged, this is the final round of round one. Here we go. And it looks like Kunkel and Chanel are, are going at it right there. And they're going to go to the final jump. Your winner is going to be, oh, Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. Your winner is Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. All right, Monster Truck fans, that's the round one. Now we're going to round two. We will have King Crunch. He'll be taking on Avenger. Then we're going to have Samson will be taking on Titan. Then Time Flies will be taking on Obsess. And then Vendetta will be taking on Bigfoot. And now, round two starts right now. b Rosso, Monster Truck Show fans. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, all the way from Texas, is Dylan Finley in King Crunch. And his opponent residing from round one, Jim Kohler in Avenger. Jim Kohler has defeated Survivor. Let's see, can he do the same thing to King Crunch? But we'll see. Avenger, King Crunch, as they're both going at it right now. Both to the second jump and to the final jump. And it looks like your winner is Jim Kohler, Avenger. Give it up one more time as he advances to the semi to the semifinals. All right, Monster Truck fans, reciting for round one. Please welcome Donald Bittentio in Titan. And his opponent is Rick Steffens in Samson. And it looks like this is going to be East versus West right now. We're saying the East side is Samson, West side is Titan. And here we go, Titan with the early start right there. And they're doing a the second jump right now. Down to the final jump right there. As both trucks are dead even, your winner is going to be Donald Bittentio in Titan. And he advances to the next round. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is Rosie Raymer and Time Flies. And her opponent residing for round one is Eric Swanson and Obsessed. These two know each other. They, Eric Swanson used to be from Southern California, but now he's moved to Idaho. But we'll see, two generations will collide. Rosalie's taking the lead, Eric Strong trying to catch up, but it looks like it's too late. Your winner is Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies. All right, fans, introducing next is a Monster Truck that started all, Derek Chanel Bigfoot. And his opponent, all the way from Utah State, Michael Christensen and Vendetta. There's a battle between those two guys out there. Vendetta and Bigfoot, here we go. And it looks like good even start by both trucks right there. Bigfoot's trying to take the lead right there. And to the final turn, and it looks like your winner is, your winner is Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. What a great run. All right, Vero Rasa Monster Truck Show. We are down to the last four trucks. This will be the semifinals. It will be Avenger will be taking on Titan, and then Time Flies will be taking on Bigfoot. And now, the semifinals has started right now. Introducing first, all the way from the northern side of California, Donald Bittentio and Titan. And all the way from Ohio, please welcome Mr. Excitement, Jim Kohler Avenger. This will be the semifinals, and here we go, Titan. Avenger, who's going to the championship race? This is a tough race right there. As go to the final jump, your winner is Mr. Excitement, Jim Kohler Avenger, and he's going to the championship race. All right, who's going to see Jim Kohler? Will it be Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies, or will it be the monster truck that started it all, Darren Chanel in Bigfoot? This is a battle of these two. Bigfoot is hoping to go to the championship race with Avenger, but we don't know yet, or otherwise Time Flies can do it disappointed. And to the second jump, and now to the final jump. Here we go. Your winner is Rosalie Raymer in an unexpected way. Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies is your winner. All right, Monster Truck fans, we are down to the last two trucks. It's going to be Time Flies and Avenger. Make some noise if you guys think Time Flies is going to win. Or make some noise if you think Avengers going to win. This is going to be a battle between those two trucks. So wave your checker flags right now because this is the championship race. All right, Monster Truck fans, introducing first, all the way from Northern California, Rosie Raymer, Time Flies. 
and her opponent all the way from Ohio, Jim Collard Avenger. There's a battle between those two trucks. Let's see if Rosie Raymer wins. She do it for her own town. Hey, this is a perfect return. And it looks like she goes trying to catch her. Oh no, Rosalie shoot like a rocket. And it looks like your winner is Rosalie Raymer in Time Flies. All right, viewer, Rasa Monster Truck Show. There she is. Rosalie Raymer and Time Flies is your racing winner. So far, we have two females, and two of them have got their own winning. So far, Rebecca Chanel has won the best trick, and meanwhile, Rosalie Raymer wants racing. Can one of those two girls can go for the freestyle competition? I don't know yet, but it's going to be a really tough one and a tough action. But we're going to see what's going to happen. All right, Paris, California. Make some noise for California's native zone. Rosalie Raymer and Ty Flies. And it was an honor to see her return as she's waving to the crowd. Wave your checker flags one more time for Rosalie Raymer, everybody. All right, Monster Truck fans. This is the official intermission break. We're going to have all the drivers to take a break right now and their trucks right now to take a relaxed break right now as they're going to get cool off for now and they can just charge their battery right now before our biggest competition, everyone's all-time favorite, the freestyle competition. So grab a snack, go to the restroom, do while you guys can because this is the Viva La Rasa Monster Truck Show Intermission Break and we'll be back to you guys and momentarily. We'll see you guys in a bit, so take a break, everybody. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Change, play the game that we say 
I need a break. Time to stay strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Taste on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'ma fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up It's how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with none, cause I'm so done You had your fun, and now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun Cause I got a full clip, put your name on it, but I'ma let you slide cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way I had to fight and misbehave I had to find a way to change I had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't want to let myself down myself monster truck fans we hope you guys have a great break and all that stuff but coming up next right now is the official monster truck freestyle competition where each 12 trucks are going to compete 
and five judges are going to be settled. And now it's time to get ready for the freestyle, and it starts right now. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, introducing first, it is Donald Benditio and Titan. He grew up all the way in the north side of California, and now he's glad to be here in the southern side in the independent show right here for the Southern California here in Paris, California. Donald Venditio, wave those checker flags for Donald Venditio and let's see what he's gonna do for tonight. As he's gonna make a turn right there. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, make some noise. And he's gonna go for the, the big rep. Here we go, good air for Donald Venditio and tight end. Oh, and he hit the bank with the wall. Well, be careful, Donald. Try not to hit the walls because the problems I heard that the walls that the trucks can get tight, um, you know, they can get stuck on the tires, but this time he's not stuck. All right, he's good. All right, Donald Ibiditio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he, that's not what he wanted. That is not what he wanted, but it is what it is. All right, judges, it's now time to hit the score. Now the score, here we go, is going to be a one, a two, a four, a two, and a three. Drop out the four, we drop out the two, and the total is going to be a six for Donald Lipidizio in tight end. Ladies and gentlemen, Viva Rasa Mastruck Show fans, give it up one more time for Donald Lipidizio in tight end. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is the Plane for Keeps driver zone, Tony, but this time he's in Survivor. And Survivor, he's going to give it up. Wave those checker flags for Tony and Survivor as he's going to do it for all the fans for you guys all over here in Paris, California. And he's going to make a turn right there. And he started, and his free cells already started. Oh, jump. And he's going to jump over for the pile of those little small dirt. And he's going to jump over the cars right there for Survivor. I met Tony back in Fresno. He was a really great guy. And he's representing all the Todo Latino, Todo Hispanico. And también si habla español. Come on, everybody. Do it for, come on, Tony. Do it for all the people out there here at the Viva Rasa Monster Truck Show. That is awesome right there for Tony out there. And he's going to make a turn. Oh, is he okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. All right, he has no wall. He had no wall. Okay, so anyways, Tony is Survivor. Not bad, but he has to rock it out. Come on, everybody. Make some noise for Tony as he's trying to do it for all you guys here in Survivor. As he's driving one of my old friends, uh, Rudy Campo, old truck, even though Rudy is not driving the truck. And oh, into the big ramp right there for Tony Survivor. Not bad right there. And oh, is he? Oh, no, he's good. He's good. All right, he's going to reverse it right there. That is awesome. Oh, and he's going to do the Mike Vodder style. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony in Survivor. Not bad by Survivor. Oh, okay. That was awesome. Not bad. Okay, and he's going to go to the pile of little dirt right there. Jump into another dirt right there for Survivor. As you know that Tony is, normally drives a truck called Plane for Keeps right now. The reason why he's driving Survivor because, you know, Survivor's in the lineup. We could have put Plane for Keeps, but hopefully next time we will do it. But that's if we do it. Right now, this is the only annual, only annual for now. But you never know. Never say never. As Tony, right air. There's a big air for Tony and Survivor. And he's going to make a turn right there. That is not bad. Oh, he's going to do it again, is he? Or no, no, he's not. All right, he's going to go for the, the ramp that's between right there. And there he is, Tony. And oh, not bad. Okay, and he hits right there. And Tony also drove this truck before um, several times. But um, normally, he, like I say, he drives plane for keeps. But he's doing it for all the fans out there with this truck in Survivor. And it looks like right there. And oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And it looks like he has flipped the truck over and he's landed on all four BKT tires. We're going to need some people out there heading right there. Uh, we're going to need some help out there as, as the officials are already, already coming out. And it looks like Tony's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony in Survivor. All right, Monster Truck fans, we're going to go find out the scores right now for Tony and Survivor, as right now paramedics are going to make sure if he's okay. Yes, he's 100% okay, but that's still what a crazy hit right there for Tony and Survivor. All right, then, we're going to have the score. So, it's going to be, uh, we're going to find out right now. Hold on, fans. Right now, the judges still making a decision right now. Oh, it looks like they're ready. Okay, so it's going to be a three, a two, a four, another four, a four, and another four. All right, so we're going to drop out the four. We're going to drop out the two. So it's a total of eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it looks like the score will be eleven for Survivor. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Tony. And Survivor has taken the lead right now in this freestyle competition.
All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And it looks like Kyle is ready. I really love this new design. He's grown up all the way from Ohio. And it's great to see Rap Attack here in the SoCal area. All right, guys, wave your checker flags. Come on for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. And also, don't forget, I mentioned to all the fans out there, these guys will autograph right after the show. So after the show, make sure you guys uh, make the line because they're going to have those autograph section for you guys and it's not over yet if you guys think the pit party is the only time they'll do autographs they'll do it autographs later on today all right kyle kunkel everybody perfect run right there he's, he's doing great right now he's trying to do it for all the fans out there here in paris california it's their first this is rapid Attack's first time being the west side since a long time and they don't remember how um rapid attack has the long like they don't remember how old was the last time that Rap Attack made it to California, but it was an honor. And it looks like the truck is an honor to perform back in California here in SoCal. All right, Rap Attack, as he's doing great right now. And it looks like he's just uh, trying to show off for all the fans out there. But even though he had a little bit of trouble of two wheels, he had a little trouble of racing. But let's see if he can freestyle be his night as he has to impress the judges right now. We have five important judges right now. Looking at the scoreboard right there for Rap Attack. And oh! And it looks like not bad jump for Rap Attack right there. All right, Kyle Kunkel, everyone. And that guy is doing absolutely insane right now as he's trying to do it for all the fans out there here in the SoCal area. And remember, this is like the East style version Monster Trucks here in the SoCal. I know most of the time they're in the East side of shows like these, but we never get a chance to see them in the West. But now we find it. And whoa, what a big error! What a big error by Kyle Kunkel and Rap Attack. And Rap Attack is trying to uh, impress all the fans out there. And looks like it's reverse. Ooh, nice drift out there. Even though the truck's a little slippery, a little muddy. But still, he's trying to do it for all the fans out there. Up over the cars right there. Not bad. Not bad for Kyle Kunkel. And um, he's doing great right there. And uh, so what? But let's see. Can he try to handle it right there? Oh, be careful with the wall, Kyle. You don't want to get stuck because, you know, it's not possible in reality. But, you know... So what, who cares? But here we go. And he's doing for all the fans out there. Little wall banging right there, but oh, uh, looks like Kyle's okay. All right then. All right, Kyle's good. All right, so here we go. And is he going to snow? He's not going to cycle right now. But he's still trying to press all you fans out there, ladies and gentlemen. And he wants to press the judges, so maybe this could be his freestyle night. So far right now, he's doing a little bit okay right now. It's lasting a little longer compared to Titan and also Survivor. And it looks like he's going for Cyclones. And it's Cyclones time. Come on, everybody. He's doing a Cyclones here at Southern California. Come on, everybody. Make some noise for Kyle Kunkel. You, you hardly can see a truck like this here in California because, you know, like I say, the truck is all the way from the east side. And you'll never see a truck like this here in the west coast. Never in its life. But Kyle, and it looks like he's on the front. And it looks like he's going to show it for all the fans out there. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. I think his freestyle's done. And it sure looks like it, but I'm not so sure. But uh, I haven't got any words from the officials yet, but it's still... And it looks like, I guess it looks like it is the end of the run. All right, fans, it looks like he did okay right there for Kyle Kunkel. Not as much as he uh, we expected from him, but still, it was an honor for him to come from all the way from Ohio here in California. All right, then, the judges have made the decision, so we're going to go find out the score. So the score is going to be a 4, a 5, a 6, another 6, and another 5. So we're going to drop out the 6, we're going to drop out the 4, and as a total of, ladies and gentlemen, a 16 for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. All right, coming up next, speaking of attack, coming up next, another truck that ends with the word attack is Jurassic Attack's own Paul Jensen from Team Throttle Monsters. All right, everybody, there he is, Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack. Although that he had a little trouble with um, the skills competition, same as racing, but still, let's see, can Freestyle be his night for Jurassic Attack? One of my favorite independent trucks, I remember I used to grow up watching it during the um, the Don Frankish era when Jurassic Attack was part of Maniac's team, and now we got to see the truck back, and especially with the new design. It's a really beautiful design. Uh, uh -huh. Shout out to, uh, to one man who made this design. And uh, oh, and it looks like, whoa, that was an impressive move by Paul Jensen. All right, Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack. Right now, everybody, the score, um, Rap Attack is taking the lead with a score of 16 for right now here at the SoCal area as uh, Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack, and not bad for the jump right there 
as he's trying to do it for all the fans out there. Come on, SoCal fans, wave your checker flags for Jurassic Attack as he's, oh, it looks like he needs to reverse the truck. And uh, he's gonna reverse it and he's gonna make a turn. Okay, not bad for uh, Paul Jessup. Paul Jessup, oh, hit the wall right there. Be careful, Paul, you don't wanna get stuck on it because the problem is lately those walls are really kind of like a special material, but for some reason that the trucks are getting stuck on it. So that's kind of weird. All right, Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack, all the way from Utah, the state of Utah. And uh, also, fun fact is, he is also a former driver of Kamikaze. And oh, big air for Paul Jensen, Jurassic Attack. Oh, and he saved it. And he's on two wheels. Not bad, but not as the way we expected, but pretty not bad. And he's trying to do it for all the fans out there here at the Paris, California. We're about several miles away from Los Angeles. And oh, awesome jump right there for Jurassic Attack. And oh, he's going to do the two wheels. Oh, no, 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 not, not, no, uh, no moonwalks, but still. That was an awesome run. Uh-oh, is he going to return? Oh, no, no, never mind. Oh, he's just going to go back to it. All right, he did. Paul Jensen, one of my favorite drivers. And, uh, well, everyone's my favorite drivers, but even though he's, like, one of the good ones, and also one of my favorite, um, not, like, the one of my favorite top three favorite independent trucks, alongside with Avenger, Bigfoot, Jurassic Attack is one of my favorites. Especially, you know, I love seeing the truck. I love seeing the eye, which we don't have the eye right now. On the windshield but it's all good we're not going to worry about that we're going to worry about right now because let's see if he's going to rock it out here for paris california even though he's several miles away from his hometown down in utah right there and it looks like oh no 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 that's a bad jump bad jump oh my goodness oh my oh my save it save it and the officials will shut it down ladies and gentlemen paul jensen in jurassic attack that is some crazy jumps right now but still he's okay ladies and gentlemen give it up for jurassic attack all right, then, we're going to look at the judges' score. Judges, show us your score. So it's going to be a four, a three, a two, another two, and another two. We're going to drop out the two, drop out the four. So that makes uh, two plus two is four, plus three is a seven for Jurassic Attack. So far, Rap Attack is taking the lead right now. Give it up one more time for Paul Jensen and Jurassic Attack. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming in next, our next freestyle competition is Rick Steffens and Samson. We haven't seen Samson in a long time here in California, but it's great to have Samson back for this performance here in California. And I'm sure Dan Patrick is really happy to be performing right there. And also fun fact is Rick Steffens is also the brother-in-law, I mean the son-in-law of Dan Patrick, even though he's married to Dan Patrick's daughter. And Rick Steffens is gonna do it for his father-in-law. And let's see what's, what's gonna happen. All right, everybody, here comes Ricky Steffens. And here he comes right there with the first hit of the night with Samson. And there he is, the first jump at night. Let's see if we can impress the judges. So far right now, Kyle Kunkel is taking the lead with the score of a 16 and Rap Attack. But we'll see how Samson is going to pull it up. And also, fun fact is Samson and Rap Attack has been to um, numerous shows, not just the east side. And clearly, if anyone has seen Fight TV Zone, y'all remember the Outlaw Monster Drags. They were those two competition with the other six trucks. But we're going to see if they're going to do it with 12 trucks. All righty, then Samson is trying to hang it on right there. Not bad by Rick Steffens. And uh, he's trying to pull it up. And let's see what's going to happen right there as he's trying to get it on. Is he going to go cyclone time? Oh, no, not yet. But let's see what he's going to do. All right, everybody, here is Samson right there. And uh, is he slipping, sliding right there a little bit to the side of the truck right there? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. All right, he's fine. And uh, he's going to go hit right there, right more. And that was an awesome run by Rick Steffens and Samson. And, uh, oh, and, oh, is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Be careful banging the wall, Stephens, but you know what? Oh, no, 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 oh, and another wall. And it looks like they're hitting the wall. Oh, and another wall again. <laughs> All right, so they're going to get him. All right, he's going to reverse. Oh, no, I think he's stuck. I think he is stuck. And it looks like he's stuck right now. It looks like he can't get out. He's trying to get out of the truck, but it looks like he's stuck for some reason. And it looks like he is done. It looks like the RI has to shut him down, and there's no point of that. All right, Monster Truck fans, as we're getting ready for the judges' score right now for Samson right now, and this is going to be a tough one because I know it's not going to be enough to stop Rap Attack, but we're going to see the score. All righty then. Now we're going to go look at the score right now, and uh, here it is. So it's going to be, here's the score, a 3, a 2, a 3, another 2, and another 2. We're going to drop out the 2, going to drop out the 3, so the score is going to be a 7 again for um, Rick for Rick Steffens and Samson. So far right now, he's tied up with Jurassic Attack, but right now, it's still not enough for Rap to stop Rap Attack with the score of 16. Right now, Kyle Kunkel's taking the lead. All right, Monster Truck fans, let's give it up one more time for Rick Steffens in Samson. 
All righty, Monster Truck fans, come here next. The man who used to be from here in California, but now he's moved to Idaho. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Idaho's native son, Eric Swanson, obsessed. And it's great to see good old Eric again for the first time in California. This is his first time performing here in California in a while. Hasn't performed ever since and you know how to move for to Idaho, but he's doing great and now he's an Idaho native which now I bet he's going to grow potatoes in his house if he wins this one. But we'll see what's going to happen. His dad is watching, everyone's watching, and that's the first hit of the night for Eric Swanson. Not bad. Great to see good old Eric Swanson again. Now, Eric Swanson, you know, driver of the Obsessed Truck. In fact, his father drives Obsession. Oh, and uh, is he stuck? Oh, yeah, it looks like he's stuck, everybody, and that is a tough run. Well, oh, no, no, he's unstuck. All right, he's good, he's good. Whoa, wait, wait, is he stuck again? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, everyone. Come on. Come on. This is one for Eric. Come on. We believe in you, Eric. Well, we only can boot to the uh, to the walls, but Eric tried his best. Let's just cheer for Eric Swanson. But we got to boot to the walls because the wall's causing us problems. And it sure looks like the RI has been activated. It looks like they're going to shut the truck down. Unfortunately, that's sad to uh, sad run for Eric Swanson. But hey, congrats to him. But we can only boot to the wall, not the truck. The truck did great. The driver did great. But just the wall we had to get rid of. But we can't, sadly. But for safety reasons. All right, Monster Truck fans. And now we're going to look at the scores right now for Eric Swanson. Obsessed. And not bad for the kid right there. So here's the score. It's going to be a three, a two, a one, a one, and another two. All righty then. So we're going to take out the three. I'm going to take out the one. So it's a score of a five for Eric Swanson Obsessed. Well, he did great, but you know what? Um, sad run for Eric, but still, it is what it is. Give it a one more time for Eric Swanson in Obsessed. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next is the Monster Truck that started it all, Darren Chanel and Bigfoot. Well, it looks like I didn't get bad luck to Darren in the racing. Well, even though uh, skills competition, well, that's just one story, but I'm not going to say it. But still, I'm going to give him good luck. This is going to be a great luck. And wave those checker flags, guys. Come on, everyone. Wave those checker flags for Darren Chanel in Bigfoot. And this is the monster truck that started it all. It's great to have the legendary monster truck that really did start it all. It would all start it back in the 1970s when what's his name? Bob Chandler. When he did the first ever car crunching at the time when it was a mud truck fest. That's when monster trucks were invented. Little by little, that's when everything started as we were. And the rest was history, which is the history is here today. Now that's a great run by Darren Chanel as he's making a turn right there. And oh, looks as he, yeah, he's good. All righty, now he's doing it for all the fans here in California. He has been, he, been here in California. But we're going to see, man, this is going to be a good race right there for the Bigfoot Monster Truck and the Bigfoot team. All right, Darren Chanel. Oh, is he, oh, is he okay? All right, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. It's been a while we've seen the truck here in California, but, but not really a while because, you know, he competes in a lot of things, a lot of several independent shows. We all know the Hot Wheels shows, and looks like he did great out there, and he does compete us well here in California. And oh no, Derek, Derek, not the way we want to. Oh my, no, 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 no. Well, fortunately, that is a sad run, not the way what he wanted to do. But give it up one more time for Derek Chanel and Bigfoot, and it looks like the officials will have to shut him down. Alrighty then. Now the judges are trying to make the decision right now for Bigfoot, and now for the monster truck that started it all. We're gonna find out. All right, so here's the score. It's gonna be. A three, a two, a one, a one, and another two. All right, so we're going to drop out the one. We're going to drop out the three. So it's going to be a, five, a total of a five for Bigfoot, unfortunately. Right now, Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack is still takes the lead. But give it up one more time for Derek Chanel and Bigfoot. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming next from Texas, it is Dylan Finley and King Crunch. It's great to have this original King Crunch design. We grew up with several different types of designs, and now... It's about time we get to see the original design, the beautiful black body with the, with the silver star and with the red, orange, and yellow stripes. Really beautiful, and it looks like from the 1980s, it looks like we're going back in time to see this old truck in the back-to-time version. We're going to see this 1980s retros and gives us the 80s vibes. How many fans do I have here who's from the 1980s? Come on, everybody. Do I have any fans who are born or raised in the 19 or grew up in the 1980s? Come on, guys. Make some noise. All right, so there he is, Dylan Fidley and King Crunch. And uh, his freestyle still looking a little solid, decent, but, uh, and he's gonna reverse, you know, he needs some more room right there. 
and doing it for all the fans here in Southern California. It's great to see King Crunch in the Southern California. We haven't seen King Crunch in the Southern California in a long time, I believe, or never. Oh, oh no, oh my gosh, not the way what he wanted to do. That is not the way what he wanted to do, but still, it's a sad run. Let's give it up one more time for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. All right, then, we're going to look at the scores right now as the judges are making the score right now. It's going to be a tough decision, but we're going to see what's going to happen for Dylan Finley and King Crunch. All right, fans, so here it is. It's going to be a four, a three, a two, a two, and a one. We're going to drop out the one. We're going to drop out the four for the highest and lowest, and it's going to be four, five, six, seven, and it's a total of a seven for King Crunch. Not the way what Dylan Finley wanted to do, but still, congrats to him, and thank, and we want to thank Dylan Finley for coming here to Southern California to bring the King Crunch Monster Truck to show all you fans out there. All right, Monster Truck fans. Coming up next is going to be Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. Here comes Snakebite trying to do it for all the fans out there here in the Southern California area. And now here she is right now. She's going to try to perform. Let's see if her freestyle can do a little bit better compared to Darren. Well, Darren tried his freestyle not the way what he wants to do, but still, we can grab to Darren. But now it's his wife's turn. Let's see can Rebecca can go double down. Can she go double down? We will see because she can't go triple down because her racing thing was over. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No. And it looks like it looks like this is going to be the end of the run. She only just hit that one car and it flipped it over. And it looks like she's all right, everybody. There she is. She's out of the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca Chanel in Snakebite. And it looks like it's going to be, I don't know what's the score is going to be for Snakebite. And it looks like the score is... Uh, oh, wow, we got all straight ones. We drop out the one, drop out another one. So it's going to be a three, and a total it will be a three, but sad for a snake bite. But it's what it is. Congrats for Rebecca. Give it up one more time for Rebecca Chanel, everybody. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next is Rosalie Raymer and Time Flies. Let's see what she's going to do because we're down to our very last three trucks. Yes, the very last three trucks, and then we're going to crown our freestyle winner. Wave those checker flags on for Rosie Raymer in Time Flies as she's waving for all the fans out there. And uh, she's going to get ready to get it on and out there. And let's see what she's going to do. And there she is. And now she's getting ready. Oh, she hit the wall. Oh, no, 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 no. Can she save it? Oh, no. Well... It looks like it's going to be, we already know, and the judges has already made their score. And it looks like it's the game over for Rosie Raymer in Time Flies. And the score, yes, like always, we have all st five straight judges has score a 1. And, uh, and it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we always know, drop out those two ones, and it's going to be a 3, which she's also tied up with Snake Bite. Unfortunately, that was the end of the run. That was a sad run. Right now, Rap Attack is still takes the lead, but give it up for Rosie Raymer in Time Flies. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, it is Mr. Excitement himself, Jim Kohler in Avenger. Make some noise, and also, don't forget to put those checker flags on for Jim Kohler in Avenger. There he is right now, everybody. All right, there he is, everybody, Jim Kohler in Avenger. Showing for all the fans out there here in Paris, California. And it looks like he's going way faster. Wow! He shoots like a rocket right there for all the fans here at Paris, California for the Viva La Rosa Moss Truck Show. Oh, careful. Try not to hit the bulldozer. Careful. Alright, he's trying to reverse it. And, um, sure is he okay? Alright, there he goes. Here comes a two-time World Finals champion and also he has won several championships back in the Moss Truck, truck Throwdown, which is the east side version of the Moss Truck Show. But still, here he comes. Jim Kohler Adventure. And looks like he's trying to go for two wheels. Whoa, not bad. And he's trying to do it for all the fans out there. And he's working. And he's working out there. And it looks like he slipped a little bit right there. There he goes, right there for Jim Kohler Adventure. And there he goes. Not bad for on top of the cars right there. And he's going to go with the second ramp. And there it goes for the other ramp. You know, fun fact is Jim Kohler was my a very first monster truck driver I met. It's hard to believe now. If you look back in 2005, I really met him at that time. And he still remains to perform, even to this day, the show for all you fans here at Paris, California, here at the Vero Rosso Monster Truck Show. Whoa, that is not bad at all. And also, fun fact I didn't notice 
is that Jim Kohler came out in the movie the same year that Avenger came out. If you guys don't believe me, you guys can go check it out yourself. And oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Well, it looks like the officials will have to shut him down. And that was the end of the run. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for Jim Kohler in Avenger. And now we're going to look at the scores right now. Kyle Kunkel is taking the lead still with the score of 16 right now. With the several straight trucks he's been trying to do competition to compete and go for the win. All right, then we're going to look at the scores right now for Avenger. So the score is going to be a one. Whoa, really? A one for the first judge? Oh, come on, judge. You can do better than that. It's better than it. All right, he's going to change the score. Hold on. All right, he's going to give it a two, a three, a four, a six, and another six. All right, so we're going to drop out the six, and we're going to drop out the two. So the total is going to be four, five, six, seven. Seven plus six is 15, and it's a 15 for Avenger. Ooh, he is one score ahead. Unfortunately, that is not enough. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for Jim Kohler Avenger, even though he was one point short of the night. All right, Monster Truck fans, coming up next, our last competition of the night, representing from Team Throttle, please welcome Michael Christensen in Vendetta. And look at the sight, the sound, and you can hear that thing roaring. You can smell that methanol fuel right there from Vendetta. Well, you've been smelling methanol fuel for all the trucks. Anyways, Michael Christensen, Vendetta. Whoa, what a great jump right there by Michael Christensen in Vendetta as he's rocking it the whole house for all you fans out there right there. And there he is, trying to do it all the best he can right there. Showing it for all you fans out there here at the at the Vero Rosso Monster Truck Show. And oh, oh no, 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 he's not stuck. All right, he's going to go, ladies and gentlemen. He's going. He's going to go for it. Come on, everybody. Make some noise and wave those checker flats for Michael Christensen in Vendetta. That is awesome right there for Michael Christensen in Vendetta right there. And look like he's trying to do the best he can, trying to get it off there. Awesome move by Michael Christensen and whoa! Perfect jump right there for Michael Christensen in Vendetta. And um, he's making a turn right there. And he's gonna go right there. That is an awesome move, but we'll see what he's gonna do to impress the judges. And he's gonna go for it for the middle ramp, is he? Or he's going for the cars. Oh, he's gonna go for the cars. Oh no, I was wrong, middle ramp. He's gonna go for the middle ramp right there. Not bad for Michael Christensen. And uh, we'll see what his performance does. And this could be enough to stop Kyle Kunkel in Rap Attack. Awesome turn. And he's going to reverse it. Oh, yeah. He's going to reverse the truck right there. Michael Christensen. Born in all the way down in Utah. And he's doing it for all the fans out there. Here at, he's from all the way from slightly in the Midwest. Here in the state of Utah. All the way from home. Let's see if he can bring a trophy back home. But we're going to see what's going to happen right there. And he's going to cycle time. Cyclone for Michael Christensen in Vendetta. That is awesome right there for Michael Christensen in Vendetta. And it looks like we're trying to have to see what's going to happen with the score right there for Michael Christensen. Whoa, beautiful air by Michael Christensen in Vendetta. And he's going to go for another ramp right there. And we're going to see what's going to happen if he's going to handle it right there. Here in Paris, California at the Viva Rosa Monster Show. At the, oh no, he hit the wall. It's over. I guess he's up. No, no, he's not over. He's going to continue. He's going to continue. My oh my for Michael Christensen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And Michael Christensen is still not giving up yet. Wow. Wow. And that's what the fans wanted to see. And he's going to cyclone it or he's slippery. Oh no, he's going to cyclone it. Is he? Oh no, no, he's not. No, he's not. What is he going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, everybody, make some noise. Scream as loud as you can for Michael Christensen and Vendetta. And Vendetta, let's see what he's going to do right there. If he still has enough time to perform for all you fans out there. Awesome run by Vendetta. Let's see what he's going to go right there. And he's trying to do his best. And he's going to cyclone it. It's cyclone time. Cyclone time by Michael Christensen and Vendetta. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time. For Michael Christensen, Vendetta. And he's waving it to the, all the crowd out there here in Paris, California. He is all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, up north is Salt Lake City, Utah. But still, let's see what he's going to do right there. That's an awesome performance for the second generation, who is the son of Craig Christensen, the driver of Dragon Slayer. But we're going to see what's going to happen. All right, Monster Truck fans, this is going to be a tough race. Can Rap Attack go for the win or Vendetta's going to go for the win? 
All right, then. We're going to look at the scores. So let's go look at the scores right now. So the score is going to be a 5, a 4, a 6, another 6, and a 5. So we're going to drop out the 6, going to drop out the 5, and the total is going to be a 16. We got a tie. But hold on a minute, Monster Truck fans. Hold on, because we're not done yet, because it's a tie between Vendetta and Rap Attack, but we're going to find out. So, this is going to be a tough race, so let's get it on right now. All right, and it looks like we're going to make the decision right now for the judges, and the judges are still making the call right now. They both have good freestyle runs, but we don't know who has the great wild factor of the sport, because even though it would have been a two-way tie, but it has to be one winner. Alrighty then, and it looks like they're going to go flip a coin, and so the coin is, they said this, the head's for Vendetta, and it's tails for Rap Attack, so we are going to go find out, so let's get it on right now for heads and tails for Vendetta and Rap Attack, right now it's going to be a tough decision right now between those two guys right there, alright, here we go, so that, the first one is going to be heads, oh, I mean, not, sorry, tails for Rap Attack, so that's tails, so remember, it's four out of seven. Okay, that is tails. Next one is heads. Wow. And the next one is another heads. Rap attack. I mean, sorry, Vendetta's taking the lead. Heads is another one right now. One more heads, then that means the game's over. And it's heads. Ladies and gentlemen, your freestyle winner goes to Michael Christensen. Vendetta. All right, Monster Truck fans, and it seems to me it looks like we have our freestyle winner goes to Michael Christensen and Vendetta. The coin has been flipped, and the coin has made decision. Shout out to Kyle Kunkel, Rap Attack, for doing great. He did a pure dominance for freestyle, but it has to be one winner, so it goes to Michael Christensen and Vendetta. That was a great run, a great freestyle run for tonight. Michael Christensen showed for all the fans out there at the Viva La Rosso Monster Truck Show. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Michael Christensen, Vendetta. All right, Monster Truck fans, and it looks like this is it. This is the end of the show. Also, don't forget, everybody, this is not the last time you'll see the drivers. You'll see them again backstage, so hurry up. Make a line right now to get an autograph with the drivers one more time before we're gonna before they head it back to their nearby hotel rooms because they're going to autograph for you fans out there. So before you guys leave, don't forget, guys, um, you guys don't want to miss out because if you guys want a signature from them, they're going to do it right now. So head on to the line right now. All right, everybody, thank you for coming to the first and maybe possibly the only time in this um, show right there at the Viva La Rosso Monster Truck Show. Thank you guys for coming. We appreciate you guys. And have a safe drive. And remember, don't drink and drive. And take care, you guys. Good night, everybody. This is Angel talking, signing out, and have a good day.